Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I get a lot of questions on just like my everyday vlogs and stuff about um, the everyday necklaces, earrings and stuff that I wear. So I wanted to do a jewelry collection video for you guys because I like to watch these. I'm really into gold jewelry as you guys can tell and I wear something gold around my neck or something almost every single day. I mean the two I'm wearing I keep on constantly. So also if you can hear something in the back it's the AC. I'm really sorry. It's really hot here so... Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I wear and my jewelry collection that I've picked up over I just kind of got onto the trend of little dainty gold jewelry and hoops and things like that probably a year or so ago So before I used to wear like big chunky necklaces layered, but now I'm kind of more into the dainty looks My style has kind of switched so I wanted to show you guys my current jewelry collection or just kind of like the things that I'm loving um, I have this jewelry case that my sister Emily actually got me for Christmas so I'm just gonna go through all of this and show you guys everything um, if you're looking for a good jewelry holder I really highly recommend this I haven't even taken the tag off of it because I'm weird and it's called the purse and tiara mini jewelry case so if you guys wanted to get this I really like it and it keeps all my jewelry nice and together when I'm traveling so I guess I'll start off with what I'm actually wearing so I just got a new pair of gold hoops actually these are my old ones these ones are the more affordable version of these so I got these just gold um, these are the Madewell small hoops and they are $24 I believe for Madewell um, and I really really like them this pair that I have in right now is a little bit more chunky as you can see But they're smaller and these ones are from H&M and they were like five bucks So there's a little bit of a difference, but they're both still great These ones are kind of tarnishing a little bit at the bottom because I've been wearing them like in the ocean and stuff um, But these ones I really 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 like so if you want like a good lower end hoop I would really suggest going to Madewell and getting this pair they also have like a big pair they have like a smaller chunkier pair so they have a lot of options for everybody next I wanted to talk about I'll just kind of stand up and show you these two necklaces that I'm wearing I wear these every single day and they are from Bella Adar this one is a, um, a coordinate necklace bar type situation and Dylan got this for me so the coordinates on this necklace I get a lot of questions about it are actually the coordinates of where me and Dylan met and then I have this small initial necklace from Dylan as well with the D on it obviously for his name and I got this from him as well last Christmas and the D on it is actually the boxed font I have a few people asking if I got the thin or the box font and this is the box font so I keep these on almost every single day um, unless I'm wearing a shirt or something that doesn't look great with them I'll take them off so I normally always have a chunky hoop in or a small gold hoop in and some necklaces and then I also just got this piece this is the E Newton bracelet I think it's the 38 I know that they have like different bead sizes on their website but I actually got this like at a little boutique store but I'll have it linked down below I'll have everything linked down below that I can still find for you guys um, but this is a E. Newton bracelet. I love it. I keep it on every single day and I wear it all around. There's no tarnishing or anything going on. It is like 40 something bucks for this tiny little bracelet, but I think it's definitely worth it because it looks super cute with everything that I wear, I think. I guess I'll just go into this thing. I'll stay on the topic of gold jewelry. Next up, I have this bracelet that I actually got from Uncommon James so I actually had a necklace from Uncommon James that I got when I was in Nashville for my birthday. Uncommon James is the store owned by Kristen Cavallari if you guys know who that is. She was like in the hills and all that kind of stuff. Those like reality TV shows stuff that isn't good for your brain but your brain loves you know. Um, so I got a, br a necklace from there and it ended up actually breaking like I had it for like a few days and it ended up breaking so I emailed their customer service and they sent me another one but they actually sent me the wrong one but I actually still really like this one I emailed them and asked what I should do and they were like oh just keep it if you like it so this is the necklace it is it is just this gold um, like dagger kind of style and I like it because when I wear it with this the other two that I wear every day it kind of gives it like more layer so it kind of just like adds stuff because it's not just like a one pendant type of thing so one side of this necklace actually has some um, like diamond detailing on it and then the other side is just plain gold so you can honestly wear it either way if you're a fan of the diamonds or not there isn't like a right or wrong way to wear it I really like this and it's not too expensive so I'll go ahead and have her stuff linked down below as well for you guys okay and then next up I have this coin kind of pendant necklace that my mom got me for my birthday and I really love this necklace it's really beautiful 
It's by the brand Viviana de Antaron. It's definitely not right. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to find it for you guys and link it because I do get a lot of questions about this. But I had this in my birthday vlog and it's just this kind of thicker chain. Well, it is thicker chain um, pendant and it has this coin on it. The front is just this really pretty coin pendant. Um, each side is different, so you can wear it like whatever side that you like. Sometimes I'll wear this one with everything, and sometimes I'll just wear this one by itself because it is kind of more of a staple piece. So I really like this, and um, I think it's really pretty. It doesn't tarnish or anything, but it is a little bit heavier, so I don't wear it like every day to day. I only have four necklaces as of now that I interchange, but these two I wear basically daily, so. Um, next, I'll do kind of some like kind of trendy pieces right now at the moment. Um, I have these little shell earrings. These are actually from Forever 21. I can try to find them, but I doubt it. I got them a while back. But you can honestly find shell stuff anywhere these days because it's such a trend right now for summer. I don't know if this trend's gonna go into the spring. I, I mean, into the fall. I'm not sure if it will last into the fall, but I really like these to wear on the beach because one, they're inexpensive, so if something happens, it's not the end of the world and I just think that they give a little cute touch especially if you're at the beach or something so really like those next I have some shell necklaces so this one is like my original first ever shell necklace and I was obsessed with it and I still kind of am I wear it all the time and I like it because it's not like an actual necklace so it's just like a tie thing so you can wear it like any length you want I always do a choker version and then like leave this hanging in the back as like a bow and I think it's cute because it has the little shells at the end or I'll do like I'll double wrap it and do it as a bracelet kind of which is cute or I'll do like an anklet or something so I really like this it's from Amazon I'll go ahead and link it for you guys um, really great if you're going to the beach or have a beach trip or something coming up and then my last shell necklace is actually this one this is my newest one I got it from uh, free people when neon was a huge like starting off trend so obviously I wanted to mix the two shells and neon so it's just this neon threaded shell necklace and what I like about this one is you can also wear it as like the bracelet that wraps a lot which is cute or this one is actually a look like I'm choking myself wow um this one is actually like a double wrap so you wrap it around twice and I think it's super different and cute if you just have like an all white outfit on if you have like a black bikini that would match this super cute and super different I think it's not for everyone obviously the shell trend isn't but I think if you're wanting to try it out or like it definitely do because it, i think it looks super cute when i see girls with shell stuff on i'm always like oh that's cute i have a lot actually of just like shell bracelets and stuff this is because i actually am obsessed with the beach and every time i go to the beach i get a new anklet to wear so this one is just a shell anklet i'll i got all of these from a local beach shop but i can link stuff below i'm sure amazon has like a shell anklet i have this one from forever 21 that's just a shell like a shell anklet kind of and one is like a gold detail so it looks cute with all my other gold stuff and then this one with black so if you're wearing like a black outfit and want to do like some white gold accessories that would be cute but yeah that is all my jewelry I don't really have too much I definitely am a quality over quantity kind of type of person so instead of having like a bunch of forever 21 little gold necklaces that are going to tarnish in a day or so i like to invest in jewelry and wear it every day and really love it so obviously these necklaces are a little bit more expensive but i mean don't i got them as presents and then the one that my mom got me obviously um i'll have forever so that is my jewelry collection i just wanted to share with you guys because i have been getting a lot of questions about it um i'm sure i'll be adding to this someday any day now um there's like a few necklaces that i want to get bella dar and um adon de monte i think that's how you say it i'll link the two websites below are my favorite absolute favorite for jewelry finds so um yeah also if you follow oh this has been sticking out the whole time that sucks it's okay sorry about that if that was bothering you also if you follow lauren elizabeth on instagram which i'm sure a lot of you guys do she's been a youtuber for so so long um she has the best jewelry and is always linking and finding new little jewelry finds so i like to keep up with her and kind of look at those websites and like find things and pieces that i love so i think there's a few gold necklaces that i'm going to be ordering soon so i will do an updated one but i just wanted to show you guys those as of right now because i have been getting a lot of questions um i hope that you guys are loving the vlog challenge um over halfway through so that's exciting and yeah thank you guys all so much for watching i love you all and i will see you in my next video